the many, many places in the fatawa is we are Sayyidi Allah Hazrat talks about the maqam of Wasim. People used to send istifta'at to Sayyidi Allah Hazrat radiallahu ta'ala relating to Huzur Sayyidina Wasim Azam. Now, these things, a lot of speakers don't mention, maybe they don't know, some who know will be hesitant to mention this. But Alhamdulillah, Allah Hazrat said this, so I have no hesitation. Somebody sent a question to Sayyidi Allah Hazrat radiallahu ta'ala relating and asking a reference for the liqa, the meeting of Huzur Sayyidina Wasi Azam radiallahu ta'ala an Huzuruh with the Holy Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam during the night of Miraj. Allah Hazrat replied by giving the references from the books of Sufiya that these are Aima Mashaikh which the ulama rely on. These are authentic Mashaikh. Then Allah Hazrat, after mentioning these things, he says, look, you probably want a reference with a sanad from some book of hadith that this happened. Some mu'an an rivayat from Adda Sana, Fulan, Mu'an Fulan. You probably want this, but let me tell you one thing. In issues relating to this, the Sufiyah's power is enough. Those Sufiya, those Mashayikh, who the Ummah accepted as great people, their power statement is enough. And remember one thing, Sayyidi Allah Hazrat said this, that, that, you know, Ulume Awliya. Ulume Awliya is also a science. The knowledge of Awliya Kiram. And it's a very vast ocean. And Sayyidi Allah Hazrat radiallahu ta'ala said, You know, all of your Zahiri Ulum, all of these books, all Zahiri Ulum, all of your Ahadith, Riwayat books. All of these ulume zahiriya, all of them are less than one part out of the thousand parts of ulume awliya. This is Sayyidi Allah Hazrat saying. Don't think that all of knowledge is in these books. The knowledge is with the awliya Allah. These is less than one part out of a thousand parts. But then something strange must have happened to Allah Hazrat. I don't know what that was, but Allah Hazrat doesn't. Allah Hazrat is someone who is a truthful person. After mentioning this, he says, at this time, Faiz e Qadriya toast me. He said, Ghafsi Azam's fares at this time is boiling inside me. You want a hadith from a book of hadith about Ghafsi Azam? I'll tell you a hadith from the books of hadith about not just Ghafsi Azam, about all the murids of Ghafsi Azam. I don't know what happened, but I wish I was there kissing the feet of Allah Hazrat when this happened to him. Wow. He said, you want a hadith? He said, I tell you a hadith from the books of hadith. And according to my research into the books of hadith, tens of thousands of hadith, Alhamdulillah, this is only due to the fans of Wasiyah, tens of thousands in my life I've read a hadith. Never ever any scholar has interpreted any hadith from a book of hadith interpreted it the way Allah Hazrat interpreted this. He says when the Holy Prophet والسلام, went to Shabi Isra, Mi'raj, this hadith is mentioned 
by Ibn Jarir. It's mentioned by Ibn Abi Hatim. It's mentioned by Abu Yala. It's mentioned by Ibn Mardawai. It's mentioned by Imam Bayhaki. It's mentioned by Ibn Asakir. And the narrator is Hazrat Abu Sayyid Khudri radiallahu ta'ala an. And it's the long hadith relating to the Mi'raj that when the Holy Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam went to the seventh heaven. The Holy Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Thumma sa'idtu ila sama'i sabi'ati fa'iza ana bi Ibrahim al-Khalil musnidan zahrahu ila al-bayt al-Mahmur. That when I went there, al-bayt al-Mahmur, I saw Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam and he was leaning against the al-bayt al-Mahmur. Then I saw Faiza the Ummati Shatrain. I saw two groups of my Ummah. All of my Ummah was divided into two groups. Shatrun Alehim Sayyabun B. One group were those who were wearing white clothes, Ka'annahal Karatis, as though they were pure white people. Pure white clothes. وَشَطْرٌ عَلَيْهِمْ سِيَابٌ رُمْدٌ And then there was the second part, the second group who were wearing clothes, but رُمْدٌ which is the plural of Aramad, stained. They had stains on them. They were pure. فَدَخَلْتُ الْبَيْتَ الْمَعْمُورَ I entered الْبَيْتُ الْمَعْمُورَ وَدَخَلَ مَعْيَا أَلَّذِينَ عَلَيْهِمْ أَسْيَابُ الْبِيرِ And those of my Ummah, the first group, who had pure white clothes, they entered with me inside Al-Baytul Mahmur. Wahujib al akharun And the remaining group, whose clothes were slightly stained, were pure white. They were not allowed to enter. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Wahu ala khair. They were also on goodness. But it's clear that the first group had superiority. فَصَلَّيْتُ عَنَا وَمَنْ مَعِيَا مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ فِي الْبَيْتِ الْمَعْمُورِ ثُمَّ خَرَجْتُ عَنَا وَمَنْ مَعِيَا Then I, with that group, who entered, they prayed with me, and then we left. This is the hadith. Sayyidi Ala Hazrat رضي الله تعالى عنه He says, this is my interpretation of this hadith. If I interpret, anyone else interpret, you can put a thousand fatwas. This is Allah Hazrat. I challenge anyone who follows Allah Hazrat to put a fatwa on this. Other people, this is not for them. Say the Allah Hazrat, who is an ocean of knowledge. Say the Allah Hazrat, from whom oceans of knowledge flow. His tashrih. Interpretation, commentary of this hadith is that you know that first group that is the group which had Ghosi Azam and all of his murids in it. Ghosi Azam and all of his lovers in it. That first group is the group which which had Huzur Sayyidina Ghosi Azam radiallahu ta'ala and every person who loved Huzur Sayyidina Ghosi Azam radiallahu ta'ala in that group. They went and prayed in Baytul Mahmur with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah Tabarak.